Hi everyone. I get a lot of requests to make custom sprig molds with logos, words, phrases, and designs. I want to show you how you can use one of these custom sprig molds on your own pottery. I'm starting with an already flat piece of clay that I've rolled to approximately a quarter inch thick in my slab roller. But if you don't have a slab roller, you can use a rolling pin. Smooth one side of your slab using a soft rib like a red mud tools rib. I leave the canvas texture on the other side of my slab. Apply a generous amount of cornstarch to the smooth side of the clay and turn it over onto the sprig mold. Lay a piece of cling wrap over the clay and place everything in between two pieces of canvas. My sprig molds are about a half inch thick, so I set the slab roller height to just above this mark to get a decent backing. It's important to have a backing so that the whole design can be removed from the mold intact. My slab roller markings are at a half inch and then 5 eighths inch, so I set it to right in the middle of these two marks. Send it through the roller only once, that's all that's needed. Remove the cling wrap and carefully remove the clay from the mold. I have a mug here that I threw yesterday, trimmed today, and it's ready for the handle and the sprig. Here's the sprig I just made, and it's ready to attach to the mug. Trim a rough outline around the design, removing any excess clay. Place the sprig on the mug and align it to where you want it placed. Use a pin tool to outline this shape on the mug. Remove the sprig to score and slip the area. Put the sprig back in place with the outline and press gently over the design to adhere. I don't press down on the excess clay around it because I want to remove it. Using a pin tool, trace the letters and start removing the excess clay. The amount of excess clay you trim here is your preference. You can leave an outside shape or you can trim to the edges of the letters, which is what I prefer. However, I don't remove the clay from the areas like the inside of an O, A, E, or small loops like here on the H or the S. After the excess clay is removed, I use my pen tool to smooth out the surface of the mug. Now
Now, here's what I really like about using sprig molds. There's a lot of flexibility in design. You can use part or all of the sprig, move pieces around, and clay is recyclable. You can use the sprig mold over and over again. This is especially appealing to me because I used to use vinyl as a glaze resist, and you can't reuse vinyl. So as a production artist, I was creating a lot of waste. Once the design looks the way you want it and all the excess clay has been removed, take a brush and smooth over any rough areas as well as up to the edges of letters or designs. For tight spaces, you can use a smaller brush. Depending on the glaze you use, the low-lying areas like on the inside of an O or in the loops in the H and the S here will be filled with glaze. Decorating your designs is entirely up to you. I typically wipe off any glaze on the surface of letters and designs, and since I use a white stoneware, it contrasts nicely with most of my glazes. I do get the occasional request to have the letters glazed.
And here is the finished mug. This mug was so much fun to make. It's for a customer who's buying this for their sweet grandmother. I absolutely love making orders like this one.